I'm so glad that you guys are here. Wow, Kitty is also really excited for Vlogmas, aren't you? She's like, no, let me down. I'm out of here. <laughs> jump in any of the cars and go and you look up at the screens and they tell you if you got if you had one reserved and what zone it'll be in and so I reserved a I guess a midsize I don't remember doing that I normally reserve the compacts but anyway so I just walk up to zone two and I pick out any of them and I could actually pick out a compact if I wanted and just drive off because I'm a gold member, a Hertz gold member which is really cool I like how easy and streamlined they made rental cars. It used to be a mess, and now it's pretty simple. So I get to lug my my luggage. It's my luggage for the next few weeks I brought with me, and I get to lug it into the little wagon now. <laughs> but I wanted to dip out for a moment to give you today's vlogmas advice. Let me find some concrete blocks to sit on here. Um, ooh, it's kind of muddy. So today's advice is about media that you can follow that I think would be super helpful. And a forewarning, this is geared mostly towards those of you in construction or civil engineering, um, all types of civil engineering. And some of them are ones that I just enjoy looking at or that I find very useful to talk about with my coworkers or just that I find incredibly interesting. And the first is um, a podcast that I, is probably my favorite podcast and you're probably already listening to it because I know it's a popular one and that is 99% Invisible. So 99PI is a design podcast and they've got a couple episodes if you go back into the history that are really good. One of them is about reversing uh, the Chicago River. There's another one that's about um, trying to make, it's called Port of Dallas. They're trying to make Dallas a port city by um, being able to bring large ships into Dallas, which is, I guess, a what you <laughs> consider a failed engineering feat. The Chicago one actually, I mean, it worked out. Um, they've got a couple hydraulic ones. They've got a lot about architecture, uh, which is interesting. Uh, it's not 
Um, it's interesting to me. I don't normally find that it's super helpful as far as my job goes, but um, I enjoy those. Lately, it seems like the last year or so, all of the 99PI ones have been more um, more just reporting, really good reporting. Uh, and some of them I enjoy and some of them I don't enjoy. Um, there was, he'll do like interviews with people sometimes. So he interviewed um, this, um, I think it was a lady. He wrote about pigeons and how pigeons are adapted in the built world. So it's all about the built world. 99 PI being like, it's really good design. It's 99% invisible. So you're interacting with it, but you don't necessarily know that you're interacting with it. So anytime I walk through an airport, I think about how it's, um, there's wayfinding, how you can, you know, the tiles will be um, oriented in a certain manner that makes you naturally, you know, draws you down certain corridors. That's the way out of the building to your baggage claim. Um, and that's all specifically designed so that it's easy for you to determine where to go and, and how to find baggage claim. So that's my favorite podcast to listen to. I've also just started listening to the ASCE one. It's called Plot Points by Ben Walpole is the, um, the guy who does all the reporting and he does really great reporting as well. Um, so his reporting, is, I mean, it's all about civil engineering. Um, he interviews some engineers and he generally talks about something that is um, important in the industry. And so it's still in its very first season. I think it's only had like five episodes or so. Um, and so that one's a good one. If you are a member of ASCE, you can sign up for other, um, like different news briefs and different emails. And the, um, the ones I get are the smart briefs. So it's anything civil engineering that has happened that day. It's like 10 briefings about what's in the news that day. Um, which is always like how I find out that a new um, pipeline has been funded or that they're starting construction on a new rail system, high-speed rail, or um, just anything civil and construction related comes in the smart brief. So it comes to my email and some days I read it and some days I don't have time and I, and I just delete it. So the smart brief, they also have a couple other briefings that I don't get. One is about business and it's all business travel related. So if you're a member of ASCE, sign up for the news briefings. Uh, maybe sign up for some of the other briefings and I, I find that to be super helpful Let's see I get a magazine in the mail which just comes with my ASCE subscription which is called civil engineering and I'm sure a lot of the other societies for some of the other engineering or um, stem fields will have it as well so um, like ASME probably has a mechanical engineering magazine or or newsletter or something that you can sign up for and even within like the Environmental and Water Institute, they've got a, a monthly newsletter called Currents that I get to my email that I don't get in the print. Um, I get a couple other newsletters just by different organizations, different local chapters of societies that I'm in. Um, I was, there's one other email. Oh, the ArcGIS. So Esri does all the GIS platforms that most people use. It's an Esri base. Um, platform or you know program for the computer and they actually have some really awesome 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 content which is um, just available to anybody so you go online you can say hey I want to get a newsprint of this and you can get like their actual newspaper which comes out like every quarter or so I, um, I think maybe every month they have a little magazine that comes out which is one of the few magazines, that and civil engineering, that I just read front to back because a lot of it's not engineering and it's not what I do, but it's super interesting to see what they can do with big data and it'll it'll just be, um, you know, they'll, they'll talk about a project that somebody uses GIS and has all this data that they've collected and how they've analyzed it and what sort of conclusions they were able to draw and, and the communities they were able to help because of it. And so it's just reporting with very pretty pictures using data. That's all, you know, evidence-based science. And it's, um, it's, it's really great. I love getting the Esri magazine in the mail. Super pretty pictures. Um, and it just inspires me for like what we can accomplish in the future now that we've got all of these um, machine-based algorithms and um, machine learning and all the stuff that we're able to do with computers now. 
find that very inspiring. And let's see, that's all I can think of right now. Uh, if I think of anything else later, I'll put it in the comments below. As you can tell, I am on site. The sun is going down because it's almost Christmas um, or the solstice and it gets dark really early, but it's, since it's Texas, it's super comfortable, like probably 60 degrees out, <laughs> probably more in the sun. So it's, um, yeah, it's beautiful out. And um, it was a long travel day, which is why I am filming this here. And then I'll go back to the hotel and relax a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or have any other suggestions for anybody else of what type of media you're listening to, let us know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.